Stevenson is to conclude the service this morning. He's from Wendell, North Carolina, from the Little River Association. We're glad to have him with us. We trust the Lord will bless him. We pray for him as he comes to preach. appreciate this opportunity of being in your midst once again up at the Bear Creek Association. The thought was when the preaching arrangement was announced, why couldn't they put me up first and let those able gifts come behind me? Because I tell you, that's hard to follow. And uh, I ask you to pray for me at this time. It's good to be with you. Good to see these elders. I'll uphold you long. Most of you know it's heard me when 12 o'clock comes, I quit if I hadn't been up but a little bit. My father is in the rest home and he sent his love to you. My mother's in the nursing home. I left him Thursday evening and told him I was coming up. He said, well, I wish I could go with you and talk about the Son of God. And a thought came to me standing there at the bedside, and it seemed that it's been in my heart ever since, and I want to talk about it for a few moments. Um, I need some help. I need some help from God. You can help by praying unto God that he'll bless me. I know, you know, there's a few things, brother, the old Baptist knows, uh, and I'm not scared the word knows. You put it where it belongs. Uh, I know I can't preach without God's grace and help. I know that, and I don't have to hope for that. I know that. Uh, so uh, here's the thought that's upon my mind. It's in the 22nd chapter of the book of Matthew uh, and the 42nd verse. Uh, the Lord asked the Pharisee uh, to see his eyes. He said, What think ye of Christ? Uh, whose son is he? Uh, now, if God will bless me for a few moments, uh, I want to prove to you uh, whose son Jesus is uh, and where he came from. Uh, and you know, there's many people in the world today uh, that don't believe uh, in the Son of God. Uh, and some of them will say, well, uh, one right man said uh, he's the son of uh, Joseph the Carpenter. Uh, other words, and I find uh, over in one place where uh, the Lord, uh, as Peter says, uh, Peter, whom the men say uh, that I and so on, you know, uh, but the other words, he asked Peter, uh, well, Peter, whom do you say that I am? Uh, he asked Peter three times, uh, Peter said, thou art Christ, uh, the Son of the living God. Uh, you know, the Lord Jesus uh, the Christ uh, came to the river of Jordan yonder, uh, oh, with that forerunner, John the Baptist, uh, to be baptized of him. Uh, and after John the Baptist, uh, to baptize him in the river of Jordan, uh, Oh, what happened? Uh, oh, the heavens came down uh, in the form of a dove, the Spirit of God did, uh, and said, My beloved Son, uh, in whom I'm well pleased, uh, if my friend uh, uh, this morning he was the Son of God, uh, all right, uh, oh, what thank you of Christ, uh, whose Son is he? Uh, uh, we even find over the book of Isaiah, uh, what they're talking about, uh, uh, the forecoming of this Son uh, in Isaiah, uh, uh, nine and six. Uh, it says unto us the child is born uh, unto us the son is given uh, and the government shall be upon uh, his shoulder. Uh, his name shall be called Wonderful uh, a Counselor, the Mighty God uh, of the everlasting Father uh, of the Prince of Peace uh, and of his increase uh, of I shall be no end. Uh, I'll tell you my friends uh, uh, yeah he was the son of God uh, and he come here for one reason. Uh, he come here uh, to redeem his people uh, uh, that the Lord God give him a uh, uh, back under uh, in that covenant of grace. Uh, uh, when did that happen? Uh, or almost 2,000 uh, uh, years ago. Uh, but I'll tell you uh, uh, this Jesus, my friends, uh, uh, left the courts of heaven. Uh, he laid aside a grave fire uh, uh, that he had with his father. Uh, and he come to this world uh, uh, not in a body uh, but in the spirit uh, of the Son of God. Uh, and in in the virgin woman's womb, and came forth with a body then, and he was called the Son of God, 
and also the Son of Man. He was cut. He the words of man for representing you. There's no sin in it, my friends. He didn't come to take on the nature of the angels, but the seed of Abraham made like an unto his brethren. Except no sin. I'll tell you today. That son, my friend, was in agreement with his father. Back yonder in heaven, a mortal glory. He's by then uh, with his father back yonder, uh, I'll prove that for this. Uh, when the Lord God said, uh, let us make man uh, in our own image uh, or in our likeness, uh, who is he talking to? Uh, he is uh, talking to the Son of God. Uh, uh, the Son of God uh, uh, came forth with a body and, uh, upon the virgin woman. Uh, oh, Mary, my friends, uh, uh, born under the law. Uh, why is he born under the law? Uh, that he might redeem them. Uh, that God give him uh, that Adam put under the law uh, by his transgressions uh, and disobedient honor. Uh, I'll tell you, we didn't fall on top of the law. Uh, we fell under it, brother, uh, and it fell in the bin. Uh, for the Lord God of heaven yonder, uh, you to yet fell under the law uh, of sin and death. Uh, but thanks be unto God. Uh, over in Jeremiah 50, uh, I find these words uh, uh, concerning uh, uh, the very sins of uh, of God's people, uh, of them that Christ is going to put away. Uh, he said, in those days uh, and at that time uh, shall the nations of Israel uh, be sought for uh, and thou be known uh, and the sins of Judah uh, and they'll not be found. Uh, how far because uh, I have pardoned them uh, a child of God today. Uh, I'll tell you one thing uh, uh, this Savior, uh, uh, this Son uh, of the living God uh, that come to this world. Uh, I marched to God, gosh, his hell. Uh, uh, yes, he did. Uh, and he went there for one purpose, uh, and that was to redeem you, uh, uh, to buy you. Uh, a man said to you a while back uh, that Christ bled to death. Uh, uh, listen, my friends, uh, uh, before my Savior ever bled uh, uh, from his side with the sword, uh, uh, was pierced. Uh, he was already dead. Uh, he had already give up the ghost uh, when they come there uh, uh, to break his bones. Uh, but he is already dead. Uh, uh, but there was a sword in his side uh, and out came uh, uh, blood and water. Uh, he bled all right, brother. Uh, but he was after he had done and died. Uh, and no man take him my life. Uh, I have power to lay it down. Uh, I have power to take it again. Uh, and that's what he done. Uh, oh yeah, he was the son of God. Uh, all right, my friend. Uh, uh, you walk this uh, earth uh, uh, for 33 years. Uh, uh, what did he do? Uh, he blessed uh, uh, the hungry and the poor. Uh, he healed the lame uh, and afflicted here in this life. Uh, he preached his gospel unto them. Uh, but I'll tell you, uh, uh, the greatest miracle uh, uh, that your Savior uh, ever done in this world uh, is for the of me. Uh, and he loved me so much uh, that he laid down his life. Uh, up of poor sinners uh, like me. I want to tell you today, my friends, I uh, uh, your Savior come uh, uh, to die for sinners. Uh, if you're not a sinner, uh, you'll never see God's face in glory. Uh, I'll tell you that. Uh, I can't come unto the world uh, uh, to save sinners. Uh, uh, my Bible says, uh, and Paul says, which I am cheap. Uh, I'll tell you today, uh, we are all sinners. Uh, but Christ come to redeem uh, them sinners. Uh, what did he come to do? Uh, redeem all of Adam's race? No. Uh, if he had that what he'd have done, but he didn't do that. He come to redeem them. God give him out of Adam's grave, and he didn't choose them out of the fall of Adam to live with him in heaven. He chose them up of the foundation of the world to live with him in heaven, pure world yonder. Oh, what a glorious a Savior we have in Ephesians 2 and 4. I love this, uh, uh, brother, and it fits me so much. Uh, the call to feel to be uh, uh, such a poor sinner uh, when he says, But God, who is rich uh, in mercy, a uh, word with his great love, uh, he loved us uh, even when we were dead in sin. Uh, I'll tell you, here's a God of love. Uh, I God 
the God of mercy, my friend. I heard the God of compassion and a God of many blessings. That's what he is. And do you thank him enough? I fail so much in my life to thank my Lord enough for what he's done for poor sinner me. And I believe me. And I'll tell you, this Jesus died. He bowed his head and said he was finished. And you know what? I even cried out before then and said, My God, my God, why has I forsaken me? I'll tell you, God forsaken him for three days and three nights. But I'll tell you what he forsaken. He forsaken the Son of Man. The Son of God didn't die on Calvary's cross, my friends. The Son of Man died there. Laid his life down. He was God and man. I'll tell you, the Son of God died on Calvary's cross. I'm talking about the part that comes from heaven in immortal glory and took on himself a body of flesh. A brother was without a God for three days and three nights. I'm Bible says uh, that God from everlasting uh, unto everlasting. Uh, uh, yes, sir. Uh, and I, but I'll tell you what died uh, of that body of flesh uh, that he picked up here uh, in this world. Uh, for father out sin uh, that died on Calvary's cross. Uh, but the God part of that uh, that come from heaven did not die. Uh, uh, no, it didn't. Uh, and I want you to know uh, I find over in Jeremiah's uh, uh, the third chapter. Uh, and the 16th verse uh, of these words, uh, he says, Then I uh, uh, they that care the Lord uh, uh, speak often one another. A uh, uh, child of God, do you fear uh, uh, your Lord today? Uh, you know, I left, uh, uh, stood side the bedside uh, of my mother. Uh, uh, this uh, weighs 70 pounds, uh, and I'll tear your heart out. And, uh, I don't even look at her. Uh, uh, she says, Son, I. Uh, for some uh, beyond this life, uh, if it won't be that child of God, uh, that shed a bone in her heart, uh, uh, what in the world will we do uh, as we travel through a uh, life's journey here? Uh, but I'll tell you one thing, uh, uh, that anchor the brother spoke of, uh, is anchored within the veil, uh, and kept by the power of God, uh, through they ready to be uh, revealed at the last day. Uh, I'll tell you if you want uh, for that hope. Uh, and thank God he's anchored up. Uh, you know, I got overseas uh, uh, during the Second World War. Uh, uh, they pulled the anchor down. Uh, you could hear the wheel turn uh, as she went down. Uh, but the wind would blow, you know. Uh, and that ship would still rock, brother. Uh, but I'll tell you one thing. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, anchored up yonder uh, in a safe place. Uh, uh, that's anchor, uh, but it's in a sure place. Uh, uh, there's the nail, brother, uh, that drove in a sure place. Uh, uh, you see it here, mm, uh, and that nail is Jesus Christ, uh, our Lord. Uh, oh, what a glorious Savior uh, uh, that he is. Mm, uh, and in Jeremiah it says, uh, uh, Then they the fear of the Lord uh, uh, speak often one to another. Uh, uh, this 